Hey, what's up? Two Base here. Today's video, we're going to look at the old Cartoon Network series, Curse the Cowardly Dog. This video in particular was requested by Cora Gray. So let's get to it. Cute intro. <laughs> Your son here says there is something wrong with you. What is up with that? Now, I want you to open your mouth and say, ah. Curse the Cowardly Dog was created by John Dilworth. Dilworth's love for animation started at a very early age. He explained in an interview that he and his brother admired the cartoons from the Golden Age era animation. Oh, I, I, my brother and I have been watching, my whole family have been watching uh, the cartoons from the the golden age of Hollywood cartoons. Mm -hmm. And the most uh, irrational of that bunch for me was Bob Clampett and Tex Avery. And, you know, I admired a few others as well, but that was amazing that elasticity and the absurdity of behavior. I guess it affects, I guess that, uh, you know, with, with people who's, that have irrational behaviors, Cartoons from that period really was a was a special alchemy. Mm -hmm. It was like better than going to therapy. Just you know, I, yeah. In fact, there's an idea. Watch cartoons as therapy. Later on in life, Dilworth would attend a school of visual arts in New York City, and after graduating, he would become art director at an advertising company while also working on his independent film in his spare time called The Dirty Birdie. Courage originally came from a short called The Chicken from Outer Space, which Dilworth pitched to Fred Seiberg for his series of short cartoons called What a Cartoon. Funny enough, Dilworth pitched his idea while wearing a spacesuit. Kind of a weird way of doing things, but hey, it worked. Hello and welcome to the Silly Dilly Universe! I'm Silly Dilly! Uh, 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 uh. Can you do this? <laughs> <laughs> now that's silly! We interrupt this program to bring... Captain Fearless. You think that's frightening? That's frightening. Courage the Cowardly Dog. New tonight at 9 in Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. Shake courage. Shake. During the late 90s and early 2000s, Cartoon Network was extremely popular among the kids around the world. One of the major reasons behind the popularity of Cartoon Network was the fact that it allowed the show's creators to run wild with their ideas and create outrageous cartoon characters that fascinate the viewers. Curse the Cowardly Dog premiered on November 1999 and became the highest rated premiere in Cartoon Network history at the time. The series had four seasons with a total of 52 episodes. Curse the Cowardly Dog revolves around a small and cowardly purple dog named Courage, who's voiced by Marty Grabstein. <laughs> Courage lives with an elderly couple, Eustace and Muriel Bag, voiced by the late Thea White and Arthur Anderson. Courage and the Bags live in the middle of nowhere. In each episode, Courage and his owners were thrown into bizarre, disturbing, and often supernatural misadventures. One minute, Courage could discover a Bigfoot in his kitchen that came out of nowhere. The next minute, him and the Bigfoot are hula dancing.
Despite being a coward, Courage often turns out to be the hero and ends up saving his owners or resolving the situation. Dilworth also explained in the interview that he wanted Courage to talk more in the series, but after receiving feedback from some Cartoon Network executives, the decision was to make Courage talk less and replace some of his dialogue with screams and babbling. Ultimately, this decision worked out for the best. Curse and Cowley Dog is probably the most dark cartoon for Cartoon Network standards. Cartoon Network pretty much allowed the show to do whatever they wanted to do. I just know something bad is going to happen. <laughs> There were various episodes of Curse the Cowley Dog featuring interesting characters. A lot of people, including the people I know in real life, were creeped out by the King Ramsey episode. But personally, for me, it was the Evil Weevil episode, which was about the giant blood sucking insect, and the Freaky Fred episode that just made my skin crawl. <laughs> the series was nominated for three Golden Reel Awards and won Annie Award. Despite the fact that this show was a huge hit and many of the Cartoon Network fans wanted this show to continue, the show was cancelled. There were a couple of rumors why the series was cancelled. One of the rumors was that Curse the Cowley Dog was deemed inappropriate for kids by Cartoon Network management and they decided to discontinue the show, which is a ridiculous rumor because why would they deem it inappropriate now after four seasons? And plus TV shows, especially cartoons, have people that they review every episode to approve the episode to air on TV. You know to go with the whole standards and practice thing. But the real reason is more simpler than that. The real reason for the cancellation is that the show fulfilled its contract obligation for 104 episodes and Cartoon Network felt like they didn't need to show anymore and what actually canceled courage uh courage just uh we fulfilled our, our contractual obligation for 104 cartoons mm -hmm. and uh they you know cartoon networks felt like they didn't need any more i mean i guess we could have done a fifth or a sixth season i mean that would have been great but we were also eager to develop a, no a new show with them but everything changed at that time linda siminski left a whole new management moved in. I mean, it's like the world just got turned over. It was like a waffle maker. You know, you pour the batter in, close it, but then you gotta flip it over. I mean, it's like, what's going on there? Dilworth is actually on YouTube posting videos on his animation company's name, Stretch Films. A while back, Dilworth said that he was working on creating a prequel to Curse the Cowardly Dog, but unfortunately he didn't give a lot of details and was kind of unsure about what would happen in the prequel. Fast forward to today and we still haven't heard anything about the prequel. However, recently we've seen many classic cartoons return to the screen, so we can only hope that Curse the Cowardly Dog will return as well.